morning to you all. Happy UN Day. I'm very happy to see the diplomatic board in full force. Thank you for your presence. It's very much our organization of all of us. I would like to recognize my colleagues here from the UN country and liaison teams based in Addis, a place where we have 27 UN entities represented. And I would like to especially welcome Ahuna that has just delivered a very powerful statement on behalf of the UN country team and all of us here in Ethiopia. My role this morning is very simple, is to read for you the statement of the Secretary General on the occasion of this 71st birthday of our organization. This year's observance, I'm quoting, of the United Nations Day occurs at a time of transition for the world and for the United Nations. Humanity has entered the era of sustainability with a global commitment to fulfill the great promise of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. In this, the organization's 71st year, we have 17 goals to propel us towards a better future for all on a healthy, healthy planet. The world is also moving at long last beyond the mindset which viewed the burning of fossil fuels as the path to prosperity. At a time of record heat, member states have embraced the Paris Agreement on climate change in a record time. This landmark measure will enter into force on 4 November. Across that historic threshold lies our best chance for greener, cleaner, low-carbon growth. The United Nations is also in transition from its eighth Secretary General to the ninth. I have been honored to serve with the peoples for the past 10 years. Together we have put in place some solid foundations for shared progress, which we must build on by working even harder to empower women, engage youth, and uphold human rights for all. But we have also suffered enormous heartbreak, including unresolved conflicts, causing immense suffering throughout the world, troubled Middle East, South Sudan, the Sahel, and beyond. On these and other front lines of violence and disaster, courageous UN staff continue to rise to the occasion and respond to the plight of the vulnerable. I thank people across the world for their support and urge all to give their full backing to the Secretary General designate Antonio Guterres in continuing our global mission of peace sustainable development and human rights. End of quote, and I thank you.